I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sinning And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night getting There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Big, big, right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the scene Out on stage, here on screen Okay, it's a dream And I pray as a team One day it be me If I want it, then I get it Head down, don't regret it Push myself to to the limit. If I play it, then I win it. I'm just saying, I'm just living for today, for a minute. I don't stay, I just lose it. Have no shame, I admit it. Yeah. Looking high on me to see if I succeed, to see if I believe. They're looking up to me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. Pray to God, man, I'ma make it soon Silence all the haters as they see us making moves I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove Staying motivated, teaching others what to do I'm staying focused, my mind is open They start to notice that I'm in motion There is no potion, you're not just chill Less than four weeks out, welcome to the vlog Welcome to the channel, yeah I hope you like that leg workout of a decent leg workout to get my tripod in the way of everyone in the gym. I was not, there was like two people in the gym. I would never let my tripod get in the way of the fucking gym goers. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm gonna try some uh, new recipe today. I've just got an order in. So let's check the order out. Let's see what the hell I'm gonna make. Let's go. Okay, we got package delivery today. What have we got, boys? What have we got? Let's have a look. I'm waiting for this. This is gonna upgrade my pancake game, my low calorie game, my fucking sticking to my diet game. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, zero calorie, maple peanut butter, sorry, vanilla syrup. Then we got zero calorie maple syrup, keeping it simple. And then we've actually got two tubs of powdered peanut butter. So with powdered peanut butter, what you do, scoop it into a bowl, a little bit of water, mix it, and you get really low calorie peanut butter. Unreal. And also what I'll be doing with this is adding it to certain recipes, give it that peanut butter flavor. So like, I'm gonna do some Biscoff peanut butter protein cookies today, I think. So yeah, I'm buzzing for this, boys. Fact, let's make some cookies now, yeah. Right, so I actually put in double baking powder, so they've risen into cakes, man. But taste test will happen, and that's what really matters. So let's have a see. Right, we've added some peanut butter to it. PB fit. Let's have a look. They like cakes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's too bendy. Come on. It's too, Come on. It's too, <laughs> <laughs> it's too floppy. It's too bendy. It fucking looks good on camera, though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to get my finger. Yeah. Out. Look at that. Oh yeah. We'll call them protein cakes <laughs> rather than protein cookies. Let's try them. Right, taste test. A little bit dry, <laughs> but tasty. Needs less baking powder <laughs> and more syrup. Robin thinks it's dry as shit, I can tell. <laughs> It's not awful. <laughs> but it's a nice little snack for the for the calories. Considering you can have half of that batch there. It's okay. Yeah. Right guys, them cookies, I'm not gonna lie, 
once you've got the, the peanut butter on top, and then put, um, I did some sugar-free vanilla into the peanut butter on top of the cookie. So good. I just need to change a few bits that I fucked up in the recipe. I put double baking powder in because I'm a knob. It just needs a little bit more liquid in the mixture. Like a little bit more, not a lot. I'm going to do vanilla instead of maple peanut butter as a liquid. But, right, let's get to what I want to talk about in today's video. So I am less than four weeks out. I think I'm like three weeks, five days from this photo shoot. I'm pretty fucking lean. There's like quad veins and calf veins and road maps on my arms and fucking ab veins coming through, low back striations. But uh, there's like that voice inside your head, or inside my head at least, that says, Connie, you're not stage lean, you're not bodybuilder lean, you've not got shredded glutes, shredded hamstrings. When you're in a world like mine, that is so physique driven, aesthetic driven, body fat driven, it's very easy to get caught up in that shit. I think I'm not lean enough. I need to push harder. I need to go as far as possible. But as Christian, my coach said, I'm already over lean for the sake of a photo shoot. So generally when people are doing shoots, they stay, yeah, they get real lean, but they stay bigger and fuller. And there's absolutely no need to get stage lean unless you're on stage, right? But I've got a voice in my head that tells me to push harder and get leaner. The issue you have, right, or at least the issue I have right now is that I'm really happy with the way I look. Now that's not an issue, but it's an issue in the sense of when you're happy with the way you look, complacency can happen. So then you can fall off your diet. Now, I haven't been perfect the last few weeks. I've had a lot of things to manage from like birthdays and outings and all sorts of shit that have made it really difficult. What, I, but what I'm doing right now is trying to pretty much hold where I am from a calorie point of view. I'm not doing any more than an hour a week of cardio. And the goal is to just not fall off and stay in really good condition. And what you find is if you can keep the mindset in it, you don't have the desire to binge or anything like that. So if there's no desire to binge, you can get to the shoot feeling really good, or as good as you possibly can anyway, when calories are low, and then reverse out of the diet really well. Because the diet, you know, as everyone says is harder than the, uh, sorry, the post shoot, post show rebound, whatever, post diet rebound is harder than the diet. Just because you don't have that goal now, there's almost like a sense of freedom in your mind. You increase calories so your hunger can be off the charts. Um, you can almost not satisfy that hunger either. And what I'm trying to do is get myself into a really good spot, body fat point of view, but calories point of view, and then not dig myself into a hole and push myself into the ground by going lower and lower calorie, higher cardio, so that it gets to the point of the shoot where I might not have been fatter because I, I fall off the diet. You know, I don't want to be in the diet. I don't want to do the shoot. Now, I've definitely had moments over the last few weeks where I'm thinking, fuck the shoot, why did I commit to this shit? Like, I'm miserable, I'm tired, I can't focus, my legs are fucking heavy all day long, just from the amount of steps and all the leg training, and just general fatigue, that comes with being lower calorie, um, and always trying to keep yourself moving. Yeah, there's like, there's been points where I thought, nah, I'm fucking, I'm going to throw a towel in, I can't be fucked with this, I'll just go straight into a gaining phase and get feeling good again, and that's all, all the goal has, has been in my mind when it's come to that, but what I thought is, nah, I've just, I'm, I'm having a head wobble. I need to stay in it. You know, I'll speak to Christian. He, he's helped me out massively in today's checking, like a G. So yeah, we're focused up. Three weeks, five days to go for the photo shoot. I can definitely commit to that. We can commit to that, you know. It's it's not a it's not a long commitment at all. The the plan, right, is go into the shoot without fucking anything up. I'm gonna come in real lean, not over lean, not dig myself into the ground, come out of the diet really well. That's the main goal. I'm gonna put on a lot of size. And me and Robin are planning a month-long trip to Houston where, you know, there's going to be a lot of nice food. There's going to be a lot of training. It's actually going to be a working holiday for us where we're going to be doing a lot of filming, a lot of vlogging. You know, we still, still work with our clients as normal. Nothing changes there. It's not like I'm going to not respond to my clients. Running check-ins, you know, responses, video, <laughs> feedback, whatever. It's all going to be the same shit, just in a different country. Yeah, so that's the goal. So I'm going to have to get this Porsche rebound done really well so I can get calories really high and not fuck it up and come back 40, 50 pounds heavier, which is very doable. Which Christian was saying to me, he's checking today, a lot of his clients have done when they've fallen off after a diet, and that won't be me. I want to make sure I get this Porsche correct or Porsche shoot correct and put myself in a really good spot so I can go to Houston, heavier, 
bigger, still lean and still aesthetic, with a good mindset around food and not completely blow my fucking diet. I've put blow all the last 12, 14 weeks that I've put effort into. That's the idea, guys. And I just want to know, like, you to understand that. If your head is going in a diet, fucking we all do. The best of us do. And none of us are perfect. And none of us are ultra driven 24 7 especially when food is low and hunger is high and energy is low and mental fatigue is high <laughs> you know it's fucking hard and we all struggle and i struggle too so yeah but focusing up for these next few weeks gonna take you through the process i'll be really honest with you from the highs and lows i've had a low for the last few weeks and thought fuck this as i just said but we're coming back into a high now refocusing up good training sessions Varying up the diet a little bit to keep it interesting. Coming in shape, coming in the best shape of my life, feeling good. Getting some sick photos, going from there, going off to Houston, looking sick, filming sick content, training at Alpha Land all month long. Yeah, motivated guys. So, little update for you. I hope you're all well. If you like the video, please like the video. It'll help the channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Or if you want to leave me a comment for the algorithm's sake, do that too. Appreciate you all. Hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next video.